Judy and I am back here with another video on yoga. Today's topic is a pose called Vishva Mitrasana. Um, in English, it basically translates to the pose dedicated to the sage Vishva Mitra. Please remember to practice with mindfulness. So no forcing of your body into awkward shapes. Just only go as far as your body will allow. Prepare the body by taking some sun salutations. Warm up your shoulders and side body with some reaching poses like gate pose, side angle pose, sundial or compass pose, and whatever pose that Sean Korn is doing in this magazine will help you open up the shoulders. Create openness through the hips with some warrior twos. Some tree poses, notice the side bend. And also take half splits or full splits once you're a little bit warmer. The splits or Hanumanasana will also open up the hamstrings as well as standing forward bends with the legs working towards straight. You may want to consider a little bit of arm balance, not too many nor for too long because you don't want to exhaust yourself before taking Vishva Mitrasana. You still get the work in your arms from Chaturanga in sun salutations, so at most I would probably recommend side plank because it's got the weight balanced between the bottom foot and one hand. low lunge, right foot forward, left foot back. Feet aren't one behind the other, but rather hip width distance apart. Begin nestling your front shoulder underneath your knee, getting the thigh up as high as you possibly can, as if you are trying to wear your front leg like a backpack. Firm all four corners of your back foot into the ground and lift the heel of your front foot. Root your right hand into the ground as you become light on your front tippy toes. You might have to adjust your backpack a couple of times. Then use your left hand to grab the top of your front foot at the pinky toe side. Begin extending your right leg while working to draw your top hand up and over your ears. See if you can broaden your chest. This is about as far as I can take my body. I feel if I go any further, my shoulder will pop out of its socket. Um, I'm not sure if that's a real thing, but I'm not curious enough to find out. Hold for five breaths. To come out of this pose, release the grip of your front foot and bend at the knee to return to your low lunge. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Lunge forward with your left foot. Keep a 90 degree bend in your front knee, stacking it right on top of your front ankle. Get your leg backpack on as you pivot the back heel to a warrior two configuration. Keep the inner thigh glued to your shoulder. Take as much time as you need to set up the foundation so that you can float the top foot effortlessly. When you're ready, grab the outer edge of your front foot. Find expansion through the side body as you work your way to the full pose, making sure to press into your back foot and right hand to create more lift. Hold for five. As a side note, this footage was filmed on my second time actually getting this close to full Vishva Mitrasana. It's in black and white because I totally forgot to breathe and my face turned feet red. Also, I can only get this far with my left foot forward, so I use technology to mirror the other side. So, secrets out. Yoga teachers aren't perfect mystical creatures who do crazy shit all the time. This is a pose called Vishva Mitrasana, or pose dedicated to the sage Visha Vishva Mitrasana. Mitra, Mitra, Vishva Mitra. 
warrior two. Um, warm up the hips with some um, hip openers. This footage was filmed on my second time actually getting this close to full Vichra Mitrasana. Um, that's Vishva Mitrasana. Man, I can't even remember the pose name. So the story goes that Bhishma Mitra started out as a king who wanted to become a sage. The work he did towards becoming sage kept getting counteracted by his bad temper and constant distractions. He eventually became a sage, but it took a lot of hard work. So the moral of the story is, no matter how many times you fall down, just keep working towards the pose. You'll eventually get there. Thanks for watching!